Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the CHALL, your YouTube Sporting Network, and today we're going to be going all over the details on our fifth summer signing. Now, we knew this for the past couple of days, but it's been officially confirmed by the club now. Aaron Long has signed on a two-year deal, undisclosed fee uh, from Wigan Athletic. We don't know how much the money is. I, I was predicting on, on social media somewhere between fifty and £90,000, somewhere under the £100,000 mark, but that was just my prediction anyway. Uh, we don't know the exact figure uh, as of yet, but we're going to be sharing all the details about this and also sharing my thoughts on this guy. It seems like a lot of Wigan fans are really sad that he's leaving on a permanent deal, and the manager seems to rate him as well. Well, Liam Richardson, who just got promoted with Wigan uh, to the championship. So before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to miss YouTube video. And for now, let's share every bit of detail and also my thoughts on the deal for Adam Long. So Rovers are delighted to announce the signing of defender Adam Long from Skybet Championship side Wigan Athletic for an undisclosed fee. The 21-year-old has penned a two-year deal at the Eco Park Stadium and bolsters the defensive ranks within the first-team squad. The left-sided centre-back came through the ranks at the DW Stadium and also spent time out on loan at Notts County in 2020. Long, who stands at 6 foot one, has made 23 appearances for Wigan since his debut in the EFL Trophy at the age of 16 back in 2017. He is the fifth new signing of the summer and was in attendance for the win over Huddersfield Town on Saturday. After putting pen to paper, Long said, ever since I spoke to the manager and came to have a chat with him, I felt like this is a place I want to come. His plans for this season are amazing and it's something I want to be a part of. I felt at home even before I signed that there was a big reason why I wanted to come down here on a permanent basis. The manager, Guy McSheffrey, said he's a good age. He's played in a Wigan team that was really up against it during COVID when they were near, uh, near down the bottom. He played 15 games or so and helped them to survival. He's good when your backs are against the wall. Left-footed centre-backs are always good to give you that balance he, and him being quite cultured and calm on the ball, it ticks all the right boxes. Now let's share my thoughts and a bit of details about why I think this is a good signing for the club and also going forward in the market, what's next on our transfer radar. So there we are ladies and gentlemen, that is the details on Adam Long. Now before we get into my thoughts and everything like that, I just want to give you a quick shout out. Um, now this guy called Ryan uh, requested a shout out for his mate James who's getting married. So congratulations James. Big, big well done to you and your partner. I wish you the best of luck and uh, good luck on your on your wedding and your marriage and your engagement. And also, thank you to Ryan for that shout-out request. If you've got shout-out requests for the episodes, then please do message me. All my social media links are in the description down below and my inbox is always open. So, my thoughts then on Adam Long, this six foot one centre-back from Wigan Athletic, 21 years old, undisclosed fee, two-year deal at the minimum. Um... You know what, it's a good deal. Uh, you know, people can say that the fullback was the priority, winger was the priority. I agree. But let's not take away from the positives of this deal. Wigan fans rate him, and rate him a lot. They wish they went to go out on a loan rather than a permanent, from, from what I've seen from many fans, from many Wigan fans. They're sad that he's going permanently and leaving permanently. Um... But, and also look at it from our perspective, and I think this all starts the previous week when Anderson got his set, well, the previous week or so, when Anderson got his set back in training and, you know, it, it, we, 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 it wasn't the biggest priority, but we needed cover in that area because Faulkner was probably going to get a loan out. Um, I know speaking to some people, it's, it, it seems pretty much confirmed that Bobby Faulkner's going to get loaned out this year. Um... We've got Olawu, who's ill at the moment. That's why he wasn't in the Huddersfield match. He was ill. Hopefully he is back on Tuesday for the Rotherham match, but we don't know that. Uh, we've got Roshan Williams, Ollie Younger, and then we've got this new guy. So with Anderson injured, and with Faulkner probably going out alone, that leaves Younger, Olawu, Roshan Williams, and now Adam Long. So when you look at it on paper, we did technically need a centre-back at some point. And to be honest, I'm glad, even though it's not the biggest priority, and to be fair, I'm, that's why I'm glad it's sorted now. Because things that are the biggest priority, usually sometimes, if we've made previous mistakes in the window, get left until the last minute, and it might not even happen at all. Like with the striker position, for example. That was a position that we needed last year, but we left it way too late 
we didn't bring anyone in before deadline day. We panicked and brought in a free agent two days later. So at least with this kind of priority, it's not the biggest priority in the world, but at least we've sorted it out a week after we came across that problem. Because it's been a week or so since we had a centre-back on our transfer list. So a week after we put it on the transfer list, we sort one out, and we sort one out who is minimum League One standard and could maybe compete higher up in the future. So we've got a young up-and-coming player here who is a great signing for the club. Um... You know, I'm not going to pretend that I know everything about this guy because I've not seen a lot. I've not seen much about this guy. I've seen highlights of him here and there. Seems like a very tidy player on the ball uh, and off the ball as well. Bit of a no-nonsense centre back at times. Um, it seems a bit like Ollie Younger before he came to Rovers from Sunderland. It seems like he barely put a foot wrong in the times that they saw him in a Sunderland shirt. It seems like with Wigan with Adam Long, it seems like he's barely put a foot wrong since he's been in a Wigan shirt. So, for me, that's a great kind of player to have, someone who barely puts a foot wrong at their previous club. So, we've got a young up-and-coming player here with plenty of potential who will be part of that long-term defence. Roshan Williams is, what, 24, 25? Young is, what, 22? Ollie was, like, 21, 22? Faulkner's 18? So, and this guy's 21. So, we've got, we've got, we've got a long-term centre-back position sorted, basically. I would say it's the last dif I would say it's the last centre back signing that we need to make for a good few years now. Unless something happens in the contracts of these five defenders, Faulkner, Oluwu, Williams, Junger and uh, Long and Anderson as well. You know, if we as long as we don't suffer any problems contractually in the next couple of years or so, I think that is our defence sort our centre back positions sorted for the next few years at least. So, long-term, that's our centre-back position done and dusted. Obviously, the next position we have to focus on in the defence is full-back positions. That has been the priority for the last 12 months, last 18 months. Um, I've said for ages now, I think James Maxwell will probably come in. You know, hopefully a deal can be done soon with that. Io Tanimowo, uh, who was the Brighton youth, who was on trial, came in on the Friday, played on the Huddersfield game did very, very well. If we could just bring those two guys in, I think that's the fullback position sorted. So, Maxwell, Io, Long, so that's five, six, and seven signing done. Lee Tomlin maybe is number eight, and then probably, maybe just Carl Hurst as number nine, and that's probably our business done. And we've already, and we've only kept it to about one low knee for six months, so that's even, you know, that's, it's not. It, I know people are like, well, it's it's good to have a couple of loanies. It's good to have about three loanies just to add to that depth. And I get that. I really, really do. Do I think we'll add more loanies to the list? Maybe one or two more. Maybe. But for me, I think it's going to be mainly permanent signings, apart from a couple of players, which is what I expected, what a lot of us were expecting, and what a lot of us are getting, which is great news. Um... You know, and I feel like with this particular sign, like I said, it's not the biggest priority in the world, but at least we've got a low priority sorted. I mean, maybe it was a case of we'll wait and see what Maxwell does on Tuesday and then we sign him up. Same with Io. So I'm expecting Maxwell to sign. I may be expecting Tomlin to sign up. Maybe Hurst. Maybe Ao. We've got Long now. We've got the rest of the signings as well. I think that's the majority of our business sorted, even before Bradford, uh, in a week or so. So, for me, I think the majority of our business is done. We just need those couple of fallbacks, maybe bring Tomlin in, maybe Hurst as well. Um, maybe De Grucci and put him in the under-18s as well, but that, again, that's a long shot for me. I don't know if he'll sign a contract, but... For me, I think I think that's, that's pretty much sorted. I think that's pretty much our business sorted. If we can get all but one, maybe, done before... Uh, Bradford so maybe maybe we could wait for maybe the Hurst deal to be done before uh, till, till after Bradford maybe try try and get Maxwell and Tomlin in before Bradford and maybe AO as well and that's probably pretty much our business sorted before the start of the season and then maybe bring someone like Hurst in or De Grucci, uh or both of them and send De Grucci to the under 18s loan a couple of youngsters out after Bradford that would be how I would structure it anyway 
But uh, it seems like a lot of part, a lot of the Wigan support are going to be missing Adam Long here. Uh, even the manager, Liam Richardson, it seems like we've got a lot of positives about this guy. So sounds like we've got a League One minimum standard centre-back, a young centre-back with great potential. That's League One standard minimum. Could push on to Championship standard, which is great news. Uh, it seems like he's barely put a foot wrong at Wigan. So... Um, so it's really exciting news, a really good deal, and I'm really, really happy about this. So welcome to the club, Adam Long. You are signing number five. Hopefully our business isn't done um, for the next few days. Hopefully we do get at least one of those fullbacks, if not both of them, uh, sorted before uh, Bradford. But uh, there we go. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am the C-H-A-L-L, your Donks Rovers fan, and that is full time. Rovers tie die. Thank you very much, and I'll see you for another sports video very, very soon.